How's it going everyone? Right now I'm taking a break from my Escape from Tomorrow review to make this video. So uh, recently John Cena was harassed in public by this one YouTuber that goes by the name of Mo Dean. Now if you don't know who Mo Dean is, is because Nobody fucking knows who Nemo Dean is. I actually, like, barely just learned about him, like, right now. But recently, Mo Dean is kind of getting popular. Not really. No one really fucking gives a shit. I don't even give a shit that much, really. I mean, I feel bad for John Cena, but I do not give a fuck about who Mo Dean is, and I do not know who Mo Dean is. And honestly, I wouldn't have been making this video if it didn't have anything to do with John Cena. But basically, this Mo Dean guy approached John Cena in, like, a bakery or whatever the fuck, and and like he started just filming him without his permission. Are you WWE in it? Yes. Whoa, whoa. Okay. You can obviously tell that John is like incredibly uncomfortable with the situation. And I think anyone would be. Because no matter if the person is famous or just some random guy, you don't fucking approach them and just start recording them because it's fucking rude and you're invading their personal space. I don't even understand how anyone gets the motivation to do something like this. Like, how can you not tell that you're being annoying or like just a little bit rude? I mean, it's very simple to ask to like just take a picture for a second and then fucking leave and say thank you. I mean, I've done it so many times. Hell, I even got the Young Bucks to do an intro for me once. And before I got the Young Bucks to do the intro for me, I asked Minoru Suzuki to do one, and he respectfully declined, and I respectfully said thank you and walked away. It's, it's very fucking simple. It's very simple to not be a dickhead and have to harass this man. This poor man who's just trying to get a fucking... Bread. I don't know what where what shop is this, but it's very simple to just not be a dick And then after he leaves John Cena after he's done meeting with him He's still like weirdly recording him and it, it's kind of creepy and then now towards the end after like just minutes of filler John Cena approaches him again, and he has this to say yes um, respectful. Right, I'll be respectful. That's but my advice for you. My, my name is if you can take a video but you're just shooting video. And Mo Dean just can't take a hint and he's just being more annoying and more fucking rude and John Cena tries to walk away, but Mo Dean just keeps on making everything worse. I'm respectful. famous. I don't want to talk to you. I'm famous. I'm talk. Mo Dean. It doesn't matter who you are. You don't treat anyone with respect. Uh, I, I respect you. Treat people with respect. Like, I don't know what Mo Dean's problem is. He's just being an egotistical fuck. His only excuse is- Bro, I'm famous. I'm famous, bro. I'm famous. And I don't even know why he has to be this much of a dick. John Cena is just trying to live his day. And he's the one doing the right thing and just walking away. He's not hostile. He's just telling him, hey, be more respectful. Because that's how John Cena is. John Cena is such a fucking class act. I don't know why everyone's boasting about Keanu Reeves. They should be boasting about John Cena. What the fuck did Keanu do besides be in Fortnite and do the funny E3 thing? Say the line, Bart! <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, in the comment section of the video, he made a comment that was just basically boasting himself. And though he deleted that comment now, I still have a video of him uh, doing the same shit. I just wanted to say that I'm a lovely person. Modine, if you were a lovely person, you would have you would have not thought about making that video in the fucking first place. You would have just politely asked to like take a picture, then like walk away. Leave John Cena alone and not harass him and like fucking annoy him the way you did. I'd like to offer John Cena a wrestling match in the UK. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Modine, this is not how you break into the wrestling business, my guy. What the fuck are you doing? If you actually harass John Cena just because you wanted to wrestle with him, I don't know. Huh? He's probably just dicking around, but. <sighs> I feel like Modine may be one of the most immature people that I've seen on YouTube. Not as immature as Eli Socre or I'm J Station or NNA Productions, but pretty, pretty fucking immature. He uses the fact that multiple wrestling sheets have talked about the situation as him going up, and then he shows that he's like wearing a Gucci shirt and that he's on a couch. I, I don't fucking know. And the rest of the video is just a bunch of bullshit. I don't even know what he's going on about. So, um, I think this is the end. I know this is a bit of a short and very boring video, but I just really wanted to talk about this for a bit because people like this, people who harass people online just to get views really annoy me. People like Boont Gang or whatever the fuck, like, piss me off, like, a lot. Also because I haven't really uploaded that much, and I'm sorry about that. But, uh, more videos are on the way, and yeah, 
yeah. Also, for anyone who thought I was going to make a video on J Station or NNA Productions, no. N no. The reason why is because I don't really want to waste my time on two fucking idiots. I'm also just too angry about that to really even, like, properly talk about it. I don't even have that much to say, really. And if I did have anything to say, all I would say is rest in peace, Etika, and that you did not deserve shit like this to happen to you. Anyway, this is gonna be the end of the video. Sorry that I don't really upload as often as I used to, but I've been kinda busy. But don't worry, I'll see you in the next video when I talk about Escape from Tomorrow. Alright, see you later. Bye. By using